What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about Luigi's Mansion 3 and I'm here with my good friend Brian. Say hello Brian. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, nothing much. Just uh, really excited to record this because we've been playing this for like, I wanna say a couple weeks now and we finally had the time to sit down and talk about it. And we have our notes ready. So here we are talking about the newest Luigi's Mansion. Brian, are you excited? Yeah, I didn't even think we were gonna get to this point until the Smash trailer and they showed it and then we had all that speculation and then it led up to this so yeah yeah I totally forgot about then. that we we made a or I made a video last year discussing about how Smash hinted Luigi's Mansion 3 or uh, potentially and so like here we are now and it's really interesting because what I've noticed Brian first thing I want to point out in the gameplay right like the E3 gameplay or whatever demo I saw, you know, the back of Luigi's vacuum backpack, the, the new Poltergust, which is called the Poltergust G00, which is goo, I guess for short. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I, that's what I noticed, goo, and then Gooigi, you know? So mm -hmm. I've noticed the green thing in the back where I talked about it in my Luigi's Mansion 3 hint video that the green thing actually comes out of Luigi. So that is what that green goop was the whole entire time it's literally gooigi <laughs> interesting but yeah guys this is going to be an open discussion we're going to be like jumping here and there with topics um the opening cinematic or just the overall like presentation in this game is insane compared to like previous two. Oh yeah definitely there's so much more thought put into this one dude yeah there is a lot the expressions on luigi and the other characters were phenomenal so yeah. presentation definitely like a solid 9 out of 10 at least it's gonna look great honestly and the whole thing itself how there's like a an opening cinematic in the beginning goes to show that next level and and nintendo working together they said yo let's make this game amazing and i really hope that the game itself is going to deliver as much as the presentation has already delivered you know upon us uh, do you want to say anything, by the, by the way, Brian, about the whole presentation? Any Anything that clicks to you? Uh, just something um, corny that came to mind. <laughs> like just what? The <laughs> next level games literally took it to the next level with this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that is, that is completely true. Yeah, like we have a full-fledged intro that Nintendo normally doesn't do. We don't really see like this full-fledged intro unless it's like an rpg but for mario you don't really see that and in all seriousness though like they like just put so much more thought into even just just like the mini bosses in this game like like the um the director they put a lot of emotion into him which there wasn't really in the portrait case in the first one he yeah he he was showing sadness because he didn't even have his megaphone with him and that just goes to show like with the whole idea with presentation they were definitely upping their game with animation and just overall expression so that's gonna be really fun like a little like a little icing on the top as we progress through the gameplay and uh, I guess we could talk about a little bit of the gameplay right Brian yeah I mean they just they added a couple of new moves and then I'm really excited for the the slamming mechanic in general yeah yeah same here now I've noticed actually the I think the slam you do you remember in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon there was like different levels of suction, right? And you had to time A a different level so you get more damage. Do you remember that? Like, I think so. It's like a different level, like three different levels of sucking. And you have to keep pressing A until the, the biggest level. And in this one, it's kind of... You press A as many times as you can to, to do more damage, which is the slam, the slam mechanic. And that's a really cool feature. That's going to be fun to do, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah, um, I also noticed that I think you get like more health reduced from the ghost than if you're just sucking them. So I think it, I think it was around like 20 with the slam, and I'm not sure how much it is per second if you're just sucking them up with the just like the regular way. And then also they dropped coins and I think hearts too with the slam. Yeah. That, that's going to be a cool feature. Um, what else with the gameplay? I have written uh, down... Yeah, you want to go first? Uh, Gooigi, like you said, like that's a big part. Like You can do co-op, not just in multiplayer, like the online, but just within the game itself and the regular... Like the regular game, you can do two players. Yeah, you can like pass down a Joy-Con, and you can do 
yeah, as you mentioned, co-op, and that's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, I believe, however, like the player two will still be restricted. I think with a, a t I think a twenty-five health. Yeah. And still, he's going to be sucky in terms of like liquids, like water, for example. He'll die immediately. However, it's good that player two will be more interactive. He's gonna be, he or she will be able to go through places player one can go through so that's going to be pretty interesting i do love the fact that you can switch though that's actually something they didn't show or mention which i'm curious about now is like what happens if you die as Gooigi and you're doing co-op is there a way to regenerate him or like i wonder how that works yeah you might be able to come back honestly i think it all stems to player one if they yeah. die everyone dies but if player two dies i think you'll continuously be put back to life. I don't know. Maybe there'll be an exchange. Maybe it's like fueled by the ghost. If you suck up a certain amount of ghost, it comes Ooh, back. That, or that, something. that could be like that could be that. <laughs> I don't know. But um, there's also the suction shot, which was first revealed again in the Smash trailer, uh, used as Luigi's new grab move, and now it's actually one of his main moves. As far as I noticed, you use it a lot in this game. Um, to be able to exploit the weaknesses in different types of ghosts, like using it on the shield, pulling the shield mm -hmm. out of them, and then killing them. And like to solve certain puzzles, like to suck up. I remember in the, what was it, the cinema, uh, cinema floor, there was, you needed to get the key. And then once you warp through those TVs, you had to use the plunger to like get rid of the glass to get the key so to so basically to solve more puzzles using this move yeah i thought it was just gonna be for the ghost but it looks like you're using it a lot for different obstacles and puzzles yeah that's what i'm gonna like a lot now that there's more moves there's more potential ideas it's funny how we went from the first game just from sucking and using like the elemental like fire ice and water and you have those but like that's what felt very empty about the first game. Obviously, it was the first one, but you're also limited to the moves. And I feel like the only thing that really shined in Luigi's Mansion 1 um, was the eerie atmosphere. So that's also something I want to talk about. And I guess we could transition to that, Boo. Do you want to do you want to tell everyone what Nintendo has said about Luigi's Mansion 1 and how that relates to Luigi's Mansion 3? Uh, so yeah, sure. Basically, um, I guess on forums somewhere online, I'm not sure which website, but people were saying their main criticism of the second game was that it was multiple areas instead of just one uh, mansion or hotel like this one. Mm -hmm. And so they actually listened to the fans and they wanted to make this game more like the first in that aspect. Yeah. Um, but then they kind of, it's kind of a hybrid in that each each floor is a different uh type of theme, like environment like a theme yeah or atmosphere or whatever so yeah it's the best of both worlds yeah that's that's the best thing nintendo could have done at least for this game right now because the second one we were just like talking a little bit about it earlier how we hated how it was separated in the second game and they were very it felt out of place how there was another mansion next to another mansion right <laughs> yeah you got you got the regular mansion like gloomy manor and then you got this botany like esque mansion next door i'm like what <laughs> that's all like plant <laughs> and i hated the theme honestly like while i like luigi's mansion 2's uh gameplay a lot the atmosphere itself or just the whole overall theme in my opinion like between different mansions were very lackluster uh more so because they they were very generic it's kind of like your stereotypical new super mario bros layout where you got like an like a water level and a, a desert yeah, level kind of, it kind of thing it's like um super luigi's mansion maker for the <laughs> mansions like they weren't really that different each, like, I mean, like, they would have, like, aesthetics that were different, but, like, it was just, like, the same thing over and over again. Mm hmm And that's what's great about this game now. As I was mentioning, I like the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon gameplay, and it's great how this one, you know, it's similar because it's the same developer, as well as, like, keeping the old mechanics, making new ones, which I love 
both <laughs> best of both worlds as we mentioned and with now with the hotel layout we get to see the themes all in one and they're not even as generic we already saw a medieval like castle coliseum esque theme and we already have this cinema like production area already and there's just gonna be more i'm pretty sure in the trailer or like screenshots there was like a barber shop or whatever it may be it's just really cool to see like real life environments not just kind of random wilderness or like as you mentioned before a luigi's mansion maker type feeling <laughs> yeah so another thing i want to mention overall actually is how cool the enemies already look in this game and how it stems back to the idea of portrait ghosts but i want to talk about like the the regular ghosts as well for one, as I mentioned before, animations are a lot better, so they look crisper. As well as they they also take on new different styles. Um, some styles I noticed actually was uh, like the bellhop ghost. So there was one like in the, I think there was like a trailer, E3 trailer, and it showed a bellhop ghost as well as um, a maid, like the maid theme ghosts. So they, it, lo it looked really cool how they were just dressing up kind of like Halloween you know so it's like Luigi's Mansion hey it should come out during Halloween which by the way guys if you did not know 2019 it's supposed to come out no date but me and Brian here assume around Halloween I mean that that would be the best option <laughs> right yeah I would hope so I mean they would be able to do so much with marketing for that so that, that, that is definitely like an upside and oh by the way so do you remember uh, watching the E3 gameplay of the what was it the film set that Morty was telling Luigi yo I'm gonna make you a star and then yeah, and then, yeah. so like do you remember that like a it's like a kaiju Japanese monster like a big monster type of thing right oh and, yeah it was like Godzilla <laughs> yeah basically and and Luigi was facing like that monster but in reality it was just a ghost it was just a ghost and I just like the fact that it was just hiding in there and had like these weird orbs coming out and then my favorite part was the fact that you had to use Gooigi to push the orb towards you know the opposite side to hit the ghost itself and I, f I thought that was really cool how the creativity is already there using two different people and it doesn't have to be like co-op you have to like sometimes if you're playing alone control both luigi's at once so i thought that was like a really really cool concept like a different way of defeating a ghost in my opinion never seen that before that's that's super new <laughs> yeah it was also um interesting too and even in that fight that they um had the mechanic where you had to use the exhaust on the vacuum mm -hmm. which has never been used before in any of the games right like right. I, I would always just like just like mess around in the first one and just keep spraying the dust even when I ran out of the element, but it actually does something. <laughs> I did that game. too. I did that too when I was younger. Like I never got what that was until obviously you exhaust with the elements, and that's that was pretty much it. I don't even think there was there was any other use in the second. Yeah, it didn't game. do anything. But yeah, but other than yeah, the that, game this just looks good. more difficult in this one. Yeah, there's more, to there's more freedom in my opinion. I feel like yeah. there's just more choices which makes this game shine more than the first two. That's why, as we were mentioning this whole entire time, it's a culmination of, like, one and two. Gameplay-wise, I think, two more. And more of the idea of them listening to the overall themes and atmosphere, kind of like Mansion 1. And so, now that we talked about a little bit of the characters and enemies of some sort, um, now we can talk about online, which is... You know the same thing as the second game but better <laughs> what do you think brian about scare scraper i am probably gonna play over like 50 hours of that with you <laughs> yo we gotta make content with that dude like local play online play with randoms and friends that's right i'm freaking talking about you mario maker 2 we got friends in this game the governor is back <laughs> oh my gosh no we're not inviting josh again hell no sorry josh if you're watching <laughs> but um so what's different uh what someone from nintendo treehouse stated was the rooms now are procedurally generated 
like different hallways and rooms in each time so as opposed to the second one i don't really remember but pretty sure they weren't really randomly generated there weren't they were just kind of like the same layout it's refreshing and there's also going to be a lot more different objectives this time around one of them besides clearing the room from sucking all the ghosts was to find all the toads in the room do, did we do that in the other game no right i don't think so i think it was just strictly ghosts i think it was ghosts in the previous one i think it was ghosts bosses and the the red coins thing you remember that oh uh, yeah yeah we that, i think that was it but now we have that and they also showed in the e3 treehouse um collecting money that was like one of the objectives but according to them there's gonna be around eight to nine so that's definitely a big upgrade from the second game and we could choose the floors again yet again not sure how much i think they said maybe five to ten but i mean whatever works honestly yeah, i'm not really complaining five to ten, i think was it okay i noticed too that you can make the mini map a little bit bigger um or just actually not a little bit bigger it's like the whole screen so that's good <laughs> And the best part of them all is we're not limited to four players anymore, Brian. Guess what we could do? All eight of us can play in Jersey. <laughs> Hell yeah. And the additional four, if you guys are wondering, are not other Luigi's. They're just Gooigi's. So technically all the Luigi's, but not. Um, and they're coming out of, obviously, the original four. But I think they're all going to have 100 health like everyone else, because that would not be fair. And the upgrades also return, which I've noticed um, there's like one vacuum backpack that does super suction. So I think that was in the first one as well. And then there's a new one, however, called a track detector helmet. So I saw a little bit of this and the, one of the people explained that it just basically detects where traps are. That's really it. But okay, I'm not really sure if it's going to be that beneficial. And uh, a super strobe that can flash like more ghosts at a time. So yeah, they, they return. The, the whole upgradable stuff returns from the first scare scraper. Um, yeah. Is there another topic you want to talk about? Uh, a couple of the Easter eggs in the game. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, so what do you got? So in the movie set area, they had a little nod to the developers next level games like they had posters of several of the games it made like they had mario strikers and people were saying like oh they showed that so maybe they're gonna work on a new mario strikers for the switch would be which would be amazing dude but, a hint to S mario strikers on switch i mean they've been doing that like they like hint to other games they're making in a in like a trailer they're showing for an upcoming game so maybe 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 and i also noticed actually the last one was Little Mac, and what it was is him with Doc Lewis, and basically they came from the design of Punch Out for the Wii that came out in 2009. Same developers, so it was a nod to the old games. So I don't know if it's just gonna be just old or they're gonna hopefully hint to new ones coming out soon. They could do that as well. So. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good Easter egg. Uh, I didn't notice that the first time actually until you told me a little bit about it, and so I did some research myself and noticed another one. So, is there any other Easter eggs? Um, just this is like a cheesy one, but like instead of the Game Boy Horror, the device he uses now to contact Egad is called the Virtual Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? It, I didn't even catch on and that And it one. actually looks like the Virtual Console, I think, because it's like red and black when you open it, I think. And then I'm not sure if these other ones are like on purpose or not, but they kind of like had elements that were similar to scary movies, like they had, like him like being going to the TV, I thought someone something was going to drag him into it, like in Poltergeist, and then... Uh, when he was in the movie scene with like the well and stuff, the ghost looked like the oh the ring, the one from the ring. So. Yeah, yeah, that one too. That one, that was that was pretty cool. I like the little hints, and I think it goes well with the overall theme of cinema. <laughs> yeah, the rough references are awesome, and one other one I noticed uh, was actually as going going back to the Morty film thing the the whole kaiju monster japanese monster thing like 
that like seemed to be a nod to like Pacific Rim. I don't know if you ever watched that. Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah, so. yeah. So you got like you, you it's like a one on one battle and it kinda looked like the cinematic kinda looked like like Luigi was facing one of those guys. So that that was really cool. Um Oh yeah, one one more thing I just wanted to speculate on was like like, what do you think it all leads up to? Do you think it's going to be King Boo again, or do you think it's going to be, like, Oof. something else? Oof. Okay. We saw Lu We saw Luigi. Yeah, we did see Luigi. Um, we saw King Boo with Luigi, and he was chasing Luigi down the hallway in that one E3 trailer. And so I was like, huh, they showed King Boo right away. So maybe he's the mastermind. Maybe he's the lead up to, a f to the final, final boss. Maybe King Boo is just, like, the get up. Um, yeah. villain and then then there's gonna be like a true villain we're not I'm not sure right now I was thinking about that I wouldn't be surprised if it was King Boo again though because he's been the mastermind twice already but to keep things fresh I mean hey he could be the fake whole villain and it might be somebody else so that'd be cool if they like introduced another ghost in the Mario world that would be awesome instead of King Boo so uh yeah, I think that's all the topics we talked about, Brian. Um, let's just have our impressions of the game. So, what do you think overall about Luigi's Mansion 3? Um, I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be better than 1 and 2. They literally improved on everything that people didn't like about either of those games. So, yeah, just from like a Luigi's Mansion fan's perspective, this is going to be the best one in the series, I think. And I think it'll also just like appeal to people in general that aren't usually interested in Luigi's Mansion, so mm -hmm. I think this is going to be a really good game. Yeah, I think this will definitely open a new target audience. I will state the same thing. It seems like they improved uh, what what the first two games lacked, so I'm glad it's like a culmination of both games put into the third game. I really love the fact that there's an opening cinematic. I can't get over that because they don't really do that type of thing in the Mario games unless you count Mario and Rabbids but it's pretty cool to see they're putting a lot more work on the presentation the animations the ghosts look better now they they, they have more personality even though the second one they did kind of but they're expanded the portrait ghosts are back that's amazing scare scraper is great because now you can play like a full immersive ex experience on TV locally with friends and randomly online with more I guess extra stuff you can do like different objectives there's different themes put into one hotel love that overall Luigi's Mansion 3 is the next level game that is yeah. honestly the <laughs> title of this video <laughs> I, I I could say more but I'm gonna cut it short to this because I'm just gonna keep going on forever and ever so yeah, we're super excited. Um, that's going to be it, guys, I guess, today for our Luigi's Mansion 3 discussion. If you guys have any new things you found out about or any facts that you want to share us in the uh, that we never discussed in this whole video, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. Thank you, Brian, for joining me today in this discussion. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's no problem. I have a fellow Luigi's Mansion fan <laughs> in, this, uh, in this whole talk. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you all next time. See ya. Peace.